Hello guys, welcome back to Weak Mix Media. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Enjoy today's update. I want to know, was it true? I'm going to I'm in Kaibi because I don't know where she... I'm going to be a good songwriter and I said we be power because we pray that we pray that we need to be a good for you, honestly. Mm. Hey, I don't want to disrespect anybody on your show because I really respect you, I admire you. I appreciate I met that. you for the first time yesterday and I admired you. Yeah, I appreciate Big it. Big up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but my man, no chance, <laughs> Hello lovely people, this is your boy Andy Bless you for coming, bless you for subscribing to the channel If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and not turn on notification bell Today I will take you straight to Ovi's camp Yes, yeah, so former uh, Benditan Music signee Ovi And what seminar me can work Yeah, over the week, you know, Ovi granted an interview with NYDJ And uh, after the interview, I generated a whole lot of reaction on the media top a sign and Sembia Ovi Kokan was so and I and Samuel in a Pimunchel Muy na chase Ovi free Benetton group in the Muno and two Ovi in Kabuma. I say, uh, Minims and Anna carry an opposite on Jai music, no said them and uh, also the shush a bed a beshima. You see, you know, they carry an as a revive once again. Na young founder in Semina Eben was a former Benetton music record signee Ovi. Has accused her former boss Stoneboy of sucking her for no tangible reason, which she still deemed very unfair. So Ovi Pacha said, "All free Benetton group on this and that's all free mono. Yeah, man, a tangible reason be. I know I say I say, mint me no near you maybe massacre you know, mint me near you maybe. Reason be entia no reason. So then you to ask Ovi, whose real name is Barbara Na Okali Nyaku." Uh, became a national star after she made a name for herself following the following her fame after partaking in MTN Hitmaker. So we know Ovi uh, said Hitmaker and after Hitmaker, no? yeah, we got to know Ovi everywhere. And uh, or the Benetton group. After the music reality show, she has she was immediately signed by Stoneboy to his record label. After becoming uh, part of the Benetton music record label, many people assumed she was going to be the next Kaki or Miss V, but unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. Yes, cause me when I saw Ovi, you know, when I got to know Ovi, you know, Ovi was like Masa at that time, you no. Know, Ovi was like penetrating into the thing. It, she was already in it. And all of a sudden, everything went off like just like that. I thought, out of the blues, she was sacked by Stoneboy from his camp. During that period, Stoneboy's former career, uh, career manager, Black CD, and singer Kevin Boy were also flashed out. With the shocking termination of her contract with Benetton Music Record label, Ovi hasn't been herself, and it's like she has lost. Her touch. The termination of the contract affected her so badly that her music career took a nosedive and pushed her into depression. Yes, because she signed a contract with the music label for five years, but she spent only uh, six months with them. So, uh, in the interview, you know, OVA disclosed said uh, it was a five years contract where, where she go with Stoneboy, but when the one year crowd honor and in some way, you know, and Speaking in an interview with NYDJ Live, Ovi revealed that Stoneboy parted ways with her through a text message and refused to explain why he sacked her from his camp. Speaking about Aisha Modi, Ovi claimed that Aisha promised to take her to Stoneboy before signing her contract, but such never happened. Aisha Modi also posed herself to be Stoneboy's manager, but it was all fucky so we we had a whole lot of uh, uh, news out there coming from aisha modi's camp aisha modi saying that uh, on the so over on the movie so over inside the coach today don't burn out there but we're interviewing so now whatever that ovi was singing in there no was some was different thing it was like different thing altogether what i say ovi says on on when she said the name aisha modi now yeah Minkan is saying, 
Who can when suddenly you say when you be say, Yeah, when you say, Oh, I can't say I shall move in even Nimbo, what you say, wouldn't Nimbo boost you near that now. But in seventy CB, you know, I shall move came out with a whole lot of say, Oh, no, no, on the swap running, sir, on the net, yes, say, on the yes, in the can, a whole lot. What you say, so on the top four man, on the only a whole lot of year, or the can be. Then to us she added that during her fallout with Stoneboy, Ashamudi came out to spill a lot of lies about her, making her appear a bad and ungrateful person. Yes, yeah, so Charlie, I have a, a scene from the interview, you know, where I want to take you through into the midst of that journey. Let's go and listen to Ovi herself on that very interview. Embrace it. You know, affiliated with him, but then I know that we're supposed to meet and then we met. Mm. You see, at that point, um, I went to a few people and then they were like, okay, we are supposed to meet Stoneboy on this day and we went to meet him. And all took off from there. Yeah, he was going to shoot Spokeke. Okay. And then he was like, oh, would I be, you know, willing to to appear in the video? Mm. I'm like, oh, why not? I mean, it's going to be a big deal. So I just, I showed up and then we all went. Started from there. We signed something and then for five years. Five years? Yes, please. Unfortunately, you didn't do five years. No, please. How long were you at Burlington? Uh, I don't really remember. <laughs> but, should I say six months? You were at Burlington for six months? Or less, I don't know. Why, what happened? Were you not enjoying your stay there? I was, I told you I, I really wanted to be there. And it ended, I really don't know what happened. I can't tell up until today. I told you he texted me saying that he doesn't want to work with any of his artists anymore. And I'm like, okay. Okay, I asked questions, I went for meetings. But it wasn't it wasn't clear. The point wasn't clear to me. As to why he didn't want to work with any of the artists again. Right. So it was not a case of just you. Yeah. It was all the artists he yes, had there. Yes. He didn't want to work with any of right. them. Even his manager. So you... CD, as at that right, time. Right, So... A lot was said. I'm sure you know, you know Aisha Modi. Yeah. How do you know her? Well, I didn't, I didn't know her from... Okay, at the, at the time, this is how it started. When I started to text Stoneboy on Instagram, um, on Twitter, and I moved to um, Instagram, I was trying to get to him because at, at, at a point I wasn't hearing from him. Mm. So I wanted to really meet him. Yeah. And so there was this man who wanted to link me to Stoneboy's manager. Mm. And the man told me that it was... Aisha Modi. Okay. You get it. Mm -hmm. And so the man gave me Aisha Modi's number. I texted here and there. The woman was like, oh, you're very good. Blah, blah, blah. I'll take you to Stoneboy. You know. For a very long time, I wasn't hearing from them until I entered the competition. And I heard that she was there at the finale. Okay. But I didn't see her. I'd never seen her before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, like you said, on the finale, he didn't even see anything, so... Right. And she didn't even come backstage to talk to me or... Mm. Okay. Maybe she was just there to, to watch you. Right, so... <laughs> After a while... I don't know, there was this day that my... I don't know how she got to... She, she got my sister's number. And even my school mother from senior high school, that was weird. Mm. I started texting them and then the day that I was supposed to meet Stoneboy, I was supposed to, I knew that I was supposed to meet Stoneboy on this day and then a woman appears. So it looked like she had arranged for us to meet mm. and it looked like she was bringing me to meet Stoneboy. Oh, but she had not spoken to you and said, listen, we are meeting Stoneboy on this day. No. <laughs> so I'm going to cry, I mean, Kai, because I don't know where she <laughs> I'm going to be a good songwriter and I say we be power because <laughs> we pray now. We pray now, I mean, we be a good for free. Honestly. Mm. 
Hey, I don't want to disrespect anybody on your show because I really respect you, I admire you. I appreciate I met that. you for the first time yesterday and I admired you. Yeah, I appreciate Big it. Big up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but my men will try draw. Are you at a craft room? Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying true to this end. So Charlie, this is what is happening. What is it? A fan of OV at my bar out our back casa. A fan of OV at my bar out our clean itself. Because all this while no, now you ain't together and can all this while no OV. Yeah, and there's another depression and now she knows that they what I say a whole lot. But we thank God say she's back into the scene, and uh, I'm sure say the support and now all early you know. We go, we go give them the same support as uh, she's into the music industry right now. And then Charlie, make leave your comment below in the comment section concerning this update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification bell. My name is Andy. Bless you for coming. Bless you for always supporting me here. I'm out. Bye bye.